Hi, this is Francisco Pujan from VitaCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is why does she blame me? When a woman breaks up with you, very often she will try to project the guilt that she feels on you. So she's going to give you excuses which have nothing to do with her. Uh, she will give you excuses which have to do with your own life choices, your own attitudes, behaviors, things that she doesn't like about you. So she will blame you for the breakup. She will tell that it's your fault, say things like, uh, you know, you were not the right guy. Look, when you did that three years ago, it made me feel really bad. You know, she will give you all sorts of reasons. And it's important to listen to these reasons, of course, but it's important to realize that when a relationship doesn't, doesn't work the way you expect, uh, the blame or the guilt goes on two persons. I mean, it's, uh, as I said in uh, other situations, in other videos and in the book, um, the fact that a relationship uh, ends doesn't mean that you did fail with the relationship. It means simply that it's the end of a cycle and there is a new cycle which is allowed to start with somebody new. So when she, uh, she tries to project blame on you, Try to look at it from a very different perspective and first realize that, yeah, the blame goes on both of you, right? There, you both were the actors uh, in, uh, in this uh, relationship, so if it doesn't work out, it means that you are both responsible for the end of this relationship. And uh, the next thing to, uh, to realize it is that um, you know, there is no point uh, feeling the guilt and taking the blame in. Um, very, you know, very often the things that she criticizes you about are, are things that she loved uh, about you in the first place when, when you got together. So simply look at it from a different perspective and uh, realize that it's her way of getting uh, rid of her own guilt. Very often she will project the blame on you because she feels herself very guilty about something that she's doing. Suppose that, um, you know, you have children together and uh, she's initiating a divorce. Uh, you know, initiating a divorce is something that people can feel quite guilty about. They think that they are betraying a certain spirit, or if they are religious, you know, even think that they are betraying God or some form of uh, big force is at play. So, um, and they, they might feel like they are betraying the love of their children as well, love for their children as well. So if um, she is going through, through that, very often she will project blame on you um, simply because she, feel, she feels guilty about her own choices and her own actions. So what do you do when she you know, attacks you or blames you for things that happen? Um, of course, you, know, you can listen to what she has to say one time or a couple of times. If, she, if those things are important, for instance, if you really did miss a couple of um, skills in the relationship, suppose that you have been working too late, too much investing time into your, your profession or that you spend too much time with your buddies or or that you simply didn't give her enough attention or uh, God knows, maybe you, you cheated a couple of times on her, it's a possibility as well. So if she has something to tell you about the reasons why she breaks up, yes, by all means, it's important to listen to, that, to them so that you can learn new behaviors and new skills that you are going to develop for the future relationships. It's important that you learn something from this experience rather than keep on going into the same cycle, repeating the same maybe key mistakes. So what she's giving you now when she blames you might be important feedback for you to hear. Now you don't need to hear it 20 times. If uh, you have been broken up for six months now and she already mentioned to you three times that on that special day, on the Valentine's Day, you didn't remember it and give, didn't give her a gift, uh, you know, she told you that two times, you don't need to hear it again. You learn the lesson, you know that next time there is a Valentine's Day with a girlfriend, you are going to buy this beautiful bunch of flowers, you got the message, now she doesn't need to repeat that 20 times, otherwise it keeps you stuck. So it's important also that you give her a boundary. You tell her, look, uh, when we meet now to talk about our children's education, it's important that you don't keep on mentioning that. If you keep on mentioning it, I'm not going to show up again, okay? So stop. It's enough. I heard it three times. It's enough. So you give her a boundary. You tell her that she's not allowed to mention that again when you meet. And uh, maybe next time she's going to mention it again. But, you know, what you can do is simply repeat the message again two or three times. It takes sometimes a little bit of practice to educate your ex uh, wife, partner, or girlfriend, you know, it takes a little bit of repetition. It means that you have to repeat the same message two or three times until she gets it. Sometimes you have to be very firm, very direct, and uh, eventually she shifts. 
her behavior. But that's another thing. But again, you know, when she blames you in general conflict situations, very often it's treated with the fact that she feels herself quite guilty about her own choices, and it's her way of trying to project that guilt on somebody else. Okay, take care, and have a great day. Bye-bye.